Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 77 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Emozewa Gamer. So the last episode was the chicken episode and look at this thing, it's amazing. I have all of my chicken, I think I'm missing only two. And the way I've arranged that is that I have some drawers where I have the 111 version and the 16, 16, 16 version, uh, 10, 10, 10, sorry. And then the one of the second color and I put them side by side and I put a half drawer. Now that we have so many resources, we're going to be able to upgrade all of those drawers. But it means that whenever there's a weird resource we don't have access to that we don't have, we'll just be able to come in here and pick up whatever we want. Look at this. From Ender Pearl to Blaze Rod to things we don't know if we'll ever use. We just have it all. Everything is in here. So I don't know exactly if I'm going to need anything from here today. But let's get out of here. So today is the fusion crafting episode. And it is a nightmare. It's one of those episodes that, as one of you guys said, it's a good thing I brought back the list. Because it's definitely something that needs the list. Now the only problem with the list is that in the... Hello. Why is this not loading? Okay, while we're waiting for it to load, I'll finish what I was saying. So the list is not accurate because in the meantime, I've made a lot of stuff. Like I've prepared a lot of material. So there's things that we won't need to craft. But that being said, I'll give you the result of the list because if you're doing it, like I like the idea of saying, if you want to craft this, this is everything you're going to need to craft it. So first off, I'm just going to quickly prepare something. I want to check. I don't know where my drawers are. I need some drawers. Nope, not here. Maybe in here. Or maybe I'm just going to make a new one and stop wasting my time. So these are two by two drawers. I think those are the one that I want. So if I go on top, on top, perfect, yeah. So basically, uh, rolling machine and recycler. Like I want to put some machine on uh, some 222 drawers on top of that because I want to be able oh, not over to sort sorry on so I want to make it so that everything is ex ex eject to the top so eject what's the color again it's blue so I want eject to be top not here and make it auto eject and this one is eject to the top and auto eject these are a bit more complicated because these basically you need to go and click the one that you want, say top, and it's red for extract, and say auto output. And then this one, same thing, uh, eject top auto output. And then this one, eject top auto output. Well, I'm doing this all kind of wrong, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I also forgot to put the input. So I want the input to be from the front, okay? And this one, in, this one is double input, so I'm not gonna bother with this one. This one is single input, so I'm gonna put input from the back, I mean, not the front. I think I just said the front. So this, and then this one, I want the input is red. So I want the red to be from the back, this one. Input dark red and perfect and this one same thing input dark red okay and then if I have some extra large chest do I have any extra large chest so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to grab a medium storage crate and if I can find a slightly larger chest sorry so this one is the cooking we don't use it that much but this one's the crushing that's the one that we're going to work overdrive so what I'm going to do is put a um, medium storage crate right here and that right there. Then we're going to take a quick break and look at where my iridium chickens are. So purple slime chicken, nope, those I don't care. These are night slime, ah. die. These are my iridium. So my iridium chickens are really important because I need them for this episode. I need to get some good iridium. And the problem is that the iridium chicken they give uh, nuggets, not full, not the full normal ingots. So we're going to need a lot of them. We might not have everything that we need for the episode in time. We're going to do the best that we can. Okay, 
So, time for the list. Let me go somewhere more neutral so that the list will come out better. Uh, this should make it better for viewing the list. Okay, so we need to craft a fusion control computer and 25 fusion coil. And that means that we need basic material, 87 aluminum ingot, 87 brass ingot, 95 chrome ingot, 800 copper ingot, 181 iridium ingot, 100 nickel ingots, 56 refined iron ingot, 3,596 tin ingot, 115 titanium ingot, 78 tungsten ingot, 3,312 coal ingot, 109 diamonds, 1,943 emeralds, 30 glass, 601 redstone, 336 glowstone dust, and 384 lapis lazuli. Now, that's because we need to craft. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine steps of crafting. And I'm just putting it on the screen now and you can pause and watch it because I don't want to read all of that. But that's why we need all of this. I'm just going to show quickly, explain to you what we need to do so that you understand where this is going. So let's come here and say, oh, fusion. And we need a fusion control computer. So a fusion control computer needs six energy flow circuit, two energy crystal, and a fusion coil. Now I'm not gonna explain those because we're gonna see them later. The fusion coil, we need 25 of those, one for the fusion control computer and 24 for the actual machine. It's composed of another four energy flow circuit and then an advanced machine casing, two nitro eating coil, an iridium neutron reflector and a superconductor. Now I'm gonna go through the easy stuff first. Like this nichrome heating coil, it's basically in the rolling machine, nickel and chrome. And if I come in here, that was something so easy, I ended up doing it super early. See, 64 and another 64 right there and I only need 50. So that's already taken care of. Now, the second part, the second most complicated step I think, is the advanced machine casing. And you've seen that before. We make four with six chrome plate, two LED control circuit, and one highly advanced machine frame. So we need seven craft of that. And the highly advanced machine frame is an advanced machine frame and four chrome plate and four titanium. And the advanced machine frame is basically carbon plate and advanced alloy plate, which means basic machine frame. And if I remember correctly, this is something we also did. So these are basic, if I come here, where are my advance? 11, standard 35, let me just, what was it called again? It's called advanced machine casing. Advanced machine casing. And then we're going to do this and 28. So we already have that, that was already crafted. And I'm going to grab the 50 nichrome something, 50, so let's just put that back here. And here we said we needed 25 of these. So that's two step completely done. Let's go back to fusion. And honestly, those are, I showed you how to craft this and this is something you've already seen me craft. Now, I need 106 on more than 106 because I didn't show you the next recipe. Let's go to another complicated part, the superconductor. The superconductor is 360k helium coolant cell, two tungsten, one iridium alloy plate, and three energy flow circuit. That's why I don't want to show it to you now, because it's four per. So if I come back to that, I need 25, but 25 is not a, um, a multiple of four. So we need 28. So 28 is basically uh, seven craft. Uh, 25, 6, 7, yeah, 7 craft. So we need 7 craft of that, which means 7 times 3. So 21 of these energy flow circuit. So technically, if you remember, we needed 6 here, and then we needed 4 times 25 here. So that's 106, and we need another 21 here. So that's 128. That, that's the most expensive one in material. The helium coolant cell, not so, not so complicated. You get these one per with one helium cell and four tin ingot. An helium cell you get with 16 glowstone and two empty cell. That was done in this machine here. And I think, yeah, if I go look in here, I think that we have more than the 21 that we needed. See, we have 40 left and I only needed 21. So I'm, I'm already way, way good on that. So that's not a problem. 
because I prepared it in advance. Now, the most expensive in resource, I think, is this one. This one's ridiculous. The Iridium Neutron Reflector. Why? Because you need eight per. So now, if we go back here, we need 25 of these. 25 times eight is 200. Not so bad. But let's go down the rabbit hole. 800 times four. No, 200 times four. That's 800. Again, not so bad, but let's go down the rabbit hole further. It's four tin dust per and four coal dust per and a copper plate per. So right off the bat, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go, because before we waste any more time, I'm going to grab enough coal to fill my inventory. Uh, oh, that's enough. Okay. And I'm going to come right here and I'm going to put all of this in this crate. So this, oh, uh, I think I made a boo-boo. Let me just check. Yeah, this is not auto input. So I need some form of way to push thing in here. You know, let me just check if I have some tin transfer node. Yeah, flat transfer node right here. So now I'm going to have to go back there, grab this, grab this off, put it right there, put this in reverse. And now I can grab this off and put it back down here. Now this should start working. Voila. Ooh. That transfer node is way too slow. That, that's not going to be acceptable. Do I not have any normal transfer nodes? So let me just... I had not planned on this being so slow because I didn't remember I made the machine so incredibly powerful. So transfer nodes... I'm searching for some regular transfer node because then I can put an upgrade in it. These basic one, uh, these flat one, they can't have any upgrades. So let me just check. You know what? I have a better idea. I should have thought of that before. So I'm just going to grab a elite mechanical, uh, no, me mechanical ultimate, elite logistical transporter. So I'm only going to grab one of those. And now I'm going to go back here. Take this off, off, put it right here. And now this is going to be a bit ugly, but I don't really... No! I hate when I make mistakes like that. I thought it was only going to take out the other thing. So let's do like this. And then we're going to need the configurator. Give me the configurator. Right. Uh, I'm so lucky that it didn't break the machine because I didn't use a wrench. Where's my configurator? Hello? Oh my god, I feel like I'm looking at it and I'm just not seeing it. Maybe it's in one of these chests. Ah, oh, it's right here. So this, I'm going to change to nothing. Perfect. Now I'm going to grab this and put it right there. And now here I have to put it in extract. Now this should go much faster. And it is. Perfect. And this is going to output to the top here. So we're going to have a, a problem pretty soon. So let's resolve that problem right now. I'm going to grab a couple of drawer upgrade. Oops, wrong button. I'm going to be drawer upgrade. Drawer, really? Upgrade. It's some, sometimes I'm just losing the terms of what I'm trying to do. So I want to make these like this. Really? Just one? Okay, so that's not what I wanted. Let's grab a stack of emerald and let's come back here. And now we're going to make these into the emerald upgrade. I wanted more than that. I'll be honest. I wanted more than that. But for the time being, I'll just put two in here. That should be more than enough. And I don't want to hear you making noise, so I'm going to get rid of you. Perfect. And I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. Let me just check on my iridium chicken still. Oh, blue slime chicken. These are doing really good. I'm going to be able to take them out. I don't know why I made those 10, 10, 10. I don't really believe that I need them 10, 10, 10, but it doesn't really matter. So diamantine are almost 10, 10, 10. You know what? They are 10, 10, 10. So let's take all of this out and all of this out and let's get rid of those. And I checked all the chicken except the iridium one, which are the important one to me. So these are getting there. So the Iridium will be the last one that I look into, I guess. Perfect. So down here, 
Now, wow, they're really not progressing fast. That's the problem. In the beginning, everything goes so slow. But once they get to 10, 10, 10, we're going to be able to go at it crazy. So it's going to be the last step. And I already made some Iridium in between the episodes, so I'm kind of good to begin. And you know what? These, I need a lot of emerald to be crushed, so I can also put these in here. And now that brings me back to what I was saying. So I started a lot of coal, and we also need a lot of tin, so now I want to do the same thing with the tin. So let's grab a couple of stacks. This might be way too much, but I'm past the point of caring if I waste resource a little bit because with the chicken resources are kind of free honestly so it's not like the end of the world I'm going to put all of this in here and then we can check on how this is doing and this is just powering through as fast as it can the other thing I want to start is copper plate because we need a lot of copper plate and now I'm going to have the same problem no we're not going to have the problem because this is not the same machine. See, every machine seems to have their drawback and or their good part. And these machines are super good and they have auto output, but they, don't, but they don't have auto input. And other machines are slower and less efficient, but they have auto input and auto output. I just want some more slightly larger chest because now I'm going to come right here. And this one is the... Compressor is right here. Oh, sorry. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to put a slightly larger chest right here. Push all of that in here. And you see how it's already inserting because that one is auto input. So now this is already making copper plate and pushing them down here. And the extractor is the other one that needs it. So we're going to put a slightly larger chest here. And this one also, we're going to put a slightly larger chest right here. Okay, perfect. So now we have all of the pieces for... Uh, the well no we don't have all of the pieces sorry we have all of the pieces for these the neutron reflector these that we need 800 of that's why we need 800 times 4 2200 tin dust 2200 coal dust and um, 800 copper plate like that's why this is something we need to start and I started but look I I have 64 tick neutron re reflector and 16 and those uh, tick neutron are those and that's what I said I needed 200 so 64 plus 16 I don't even have half done I have a, another 64 neutron reflector but that's still not done so the last part that I'm missing for that that I was showing you is I'm missing this I'm missing the beryllium cell and that was expensive so the beryllium cell we need 200 but we make three per so basically divide 200 by three and that's where we need 18 empty cell and 29 crushed emerald. So that's why we needed a lot of crushed emerald. But if I look here, see 64 and another 56. So basically what I need is 60 and 40. And this is 60 and 40. I, I think I have just enough. Yes, exactly. I made exactly the quantity that I needed because this other 20 is going to make uh, 20 more tick neutron reflector. This is going to make 60 and this is going to make 40. And I think I can craft some of these. So let's just look into that. If I do this, I could make 16 more. So that 16 more brings us to, I think, almost 40 right here. Yeah. So missing four, which are those four here. But we ran out of the other one and do I have four? oh I have four stack but I don't I haven't started oh configurator so let's grab all of that back and push all of that in here I completely forgot that by using that um, that pipe I was causing myself an issue Ooh. It's grabbing from a biz it's grabbing from a bizarre side. Eh, it's going to be making the two at the same time. I don't really need more crushed emerald. I shouldn't have done that. I wanted to. I thought I was missing two or three to show you what I needed to do. Um, but that's it. So I already have two stacks of this. So 128. That's 256. Once we get to 256, we're going to have four stack, and I want four stack because. That's how you make the quantity that we want. So that's one, two, three, four. I need one stack of this. And that's 
two, almost 256. So that's one, two, three, four stack. Now, if I come back here with that four stack, I can go and craft a full, full, a full stack of this, which means that with the beryllium cell, I can make now another 16. But like this is kind of a slow process. So I have another 16, two, three, four. But that's 100. Oh, one, two, three, four. So I think that the best way of making sure this doesn't happen is doing it like this. Because whenever I put them in, it's going to go in the first uh, bunch. So I could even put the 12 there. So I need to make a lot of that still. So I'm going to let that continue a little bit. It shouldn't take that long. And we can talk about the last part, which are these. These energy flow conduit. Oh my god, that, that was so annoying. Because we need 256, if I remember my list correctly. And that's a lot of work just because of the Lapotron crystal. Because the Lapotron crystal, I can only put one at a time. They don't stack. Okay? So when I make these, and they're made with lapis and an energy crystal. Same thing with the energy crystal. They don't, um, they don't stack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be grabbing a lot of redstone. I'm going to be grabbing four stack, five, six, seven. You know what? Seven might be a bit too much. Six and a stack of diamond. And I'm going to come right back here. And I'm going to go. Oh, not that. Sorry. One, two, three, four. I need two more stack of redstone that I'm going to take here. One, two. So that should make 64 Lapotron uh, energy crystal. So I can go like this. I don't want to shift click because I don't want to fill my inventory. So let me just try something. What if I do this and I click? Oh, perfect. So that has the advantage of not filling my inventory, but filling this, which I don't really mind because now the next step is to make these Lapotron crystal. Oh, I'm missing everything? Really? Do I have any green one here? Yes, I have 32 green circuit. No, 32 green circuit. Do I have more? So that's the part I'm going to miss. So I'm going to need some osmium and some compressed redstone. So let's do that. And let's grab... I don't think that I have any osmium here. No, so osmium is a chicken thing. Ooh, I didn't know that if you just right click, you could see in it. Oh, this is really cool. But that's not what I wanted to do. I want to go in and I want to go grab some osmium. So I'm going to go grab four stacks of osmium. I think that should be enough. Like I said, because I semi started this crafting, I don't necessarily know the right quantity to get. So osmium, it should be up here. Aluminum, platinum. Tin silver, zinc, osmium. Perfect. So one, two, three, four. And while we're here, I think we're going to grab two stack of platinum. And what else is there? Chrome. Chrome is pinkish. So it's going to be one of these. Nope. We're fine. I don't even know if I need the chrome, but at this point, oh, I think I prefer having a bit more material than a bit less. Well, let's grab that. Let's show that in the chest and we're going to be able to craft the next step. So let's come right here. Oh, I'm going to go start that. Sorry. I'm forgetting some steps. I'm so excited about how everything is going well. So let's grab all of this and let's put some chrome and some uh, some osmium, sorry, and some compressed redstone. We have more compressed redstone here. You know what? I'm going to start some more just because I am pretty sure we're going to need more. Like I'm pretty sure we're going to need at least a stack or more of basic control circuit. So let's grab that and let's go back to our crafting area so we can see what we can do for now. Going to grab some lapis. And on this second side, I'm going to put the lapis in here. Split it like this and I'm going to put this right here and split it like this because then what you can do is use this. So it makes sure that everything's kind of the same. And then you can just click. So you, I'm holding shift. So I'm do doing shift, click, shift, click, shift. I'm always holding shift and clicking. So this is the fastest way I found of making those. I tried automating the process and it was just long and annoying. And I'm like, 
I don't know that I'm going to need this set up for a long while, so it's not really worth it. But now, after the fact, after seeing that, like, I should have. Because as this episode goes, like, we're not abandoning this, uh, this playthrough. We're finishing it. And I know that the recipes are going to get crazier and crazier and crazier. So we're going to have to be... I don't want to say more serious, but we're going to have to be more hardcore, I think, is the term that I want to use. So now that we have all of this from the Lapatron crystal, that's where we could do the energy flow circuit. My problem right now is iridium. I'm really in a bad iridium position. Like I'm literally running out of iridium. Let's put that in here and rebalance. And I don't know why I have osmium dust on me. You know what? I don't know and I don't care. We don't need osmium ink, uh, dust. I'm just going to put it here. So my osmium... My iridium chicken are somewhat making it along. Not really well, but there isn't much of a, anything I can do about that. Now, I'm just curious. Do I have any... Oh, right here. Do I have any roost left? No, there isn't a single roost right here. Oh, pulverized cold. Let's grab that. Dark ash doesn't matter. So dark ash is a byproduct. Something else. So one, two, three four one two three four one let's make another batch of these nutrients oh okay so one two oh no it's the reverse one two one two one two one two one so that's another 64 and let's make another 64 so one two three four one two three four and a one it goes this, 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 and this. I prefer crafting it like that. I think that's the best way of doing it. So that's two. So that's 16. 16. Each is the equivalent of 16. So that's 1 times 16, 2 times 16. I need 3 times 16, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And now I'm gonna shift click because this is taking too long. So oh no. R on that. And then again, R on that. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh, I'm taking way too much. Now hopefully this is all I need because I don't want to have to crush some more tin and I oh yeah I'm out so no I think I'm barely not going to have enough that's kind of sad so if I go down here and I look at these that's another 64 yeah I'm oh I'm just barely going to be missing what I need this is kind of crazy I, I need eight so what was it that I'm out it's the tin so I'm going to do just one two three four and just going to bring that back here and that should go super fast. So one, two, three, four. And while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna come back here and check on my chicken. So this is like this is crazy diamantine. This is crazy blue slime. Night slime are not done. These are not 10, 10, 10, but these are. So at least I can do that and remove the rest. So remove all of this, remove all of this, and just before so that I don't make any mistake. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to put 216 diamantine chicken, 216 blue slime chicken, and the purple slime are not 10 to 10, so those don't matter. I'm going to get them, rid of them in the garbage can. And now this is the night slime. Just going to make sure that I empty this whole row. There's no need to breed them and cause any lag because of the breeding. Perfect. So now back to our regular crafting episode. So that's one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, and four. Perfect. So uh, that's the problem though, because I stopped in between. I don't have the other one to be able to just click them easily in. Perfect. So like this. And that's going to give me the eight last one that I need. And again, now I'm stuck by iridium because to make these into the next step, I need some iridium ingots. So 
stuck in the iridium for these step stuck in the iridium for this step because we need some iridium plate although we already have 64 and 8 so we could probably craft the superconductor so let's look at the superconductor we need tungsten oh no we need iridium alloy oh we're just missing everything okay so now i have a chicken problem and I was looking for some roost because if I have some roost, I can put them down to try and at least start making some iridium. Although I should also go check my other setup to see if there's any more iridium. Let me grab all of this. I don't know where my roosts are. I really thought I had more roost. So let's just go put all of that, split them, and then search for, let's add, oh, no. let's add roost right like so wood really if there's something i should never be missing it's wood it's just crazy when i figure that i'm missing wood whoa i didn't grab any stack of wood let's go back one and then i can do the roost now i don't need that many but keep repeating myself at this point it's a little bit of resource is not going to make a big difference and me waiting on things is going to make a big difference so i'm going to come back here and oh i think i had started some iridium chicken oh yeah but look at that 48 nugget that's not like that's not going to make any difference for me the advantage now is that i can take these and even though these are not going to produce a lot anything is better than nothing now we're going to go back here and hopefully we do have some irid more iridium here. Oh, I'm out of cinnabar. I'm, I'm really, really out of cinnabar. Why aren't you transferring? Oh, I stopped it because I didn't want to risk. I didn't want to risk anything. And this, uh, let's just grab that and push it here. And use the lazy method. Is that going? Yes. That's going to give me a cinnabar on the first try. But that's not even worth it. I, I don't know why I'm wasting that time. Because that's giving me one iridium. Which is not enough to do anything. So I'm going to have to come back here. And really now my only thing stopping my crafting is the iridium. So I really need these to get their act together. And start producing chickens. So, 5, 9, 6. This should be to 10, 10, 10 really soon. 10, 10, 10 purple slime chicken. And now the night slime. Oop. 10, 10, 10. This is also a 10, 10, 10. So, let's put a 10, 10, 10 up. Really? That's not the way I want you to breed. So, like this. Grab this. Grab this. Perfect. So, that's another thing done. So, purple slime chicken, 10, 10, 10. I'm just going to keep these two stack of 16 in here. Like I said, again, I don't really know why I made those 10, 10, 10. It really didn't matter. But that being said, none of these really need to be 10, 10, 10. But now that I'm done with my main chicken breeding, I'm going to be making sure to get them all to 10, 10, 10. I'm just not going to care. I'm not going to empty. I'm going to come back here and grab the last step. And that's how I'm going to treat this right now because it doesn't really matter anymore. I just want them all to 10, 10, 10 because that's how I am. You guys know I'm min maxer. I need to get everything maxed out. And I'm just going to need another one of these breeder. Uh, I'm going to do that in my time lapse. I don't need to be doing that right now. So these nine slime chicken are producing 10, 10, 10 chicken. And this iridium is still annoyingly slow. How much? Oh, how much does it? Three, two. Like the difference of having 16 10 10 10 chicken is enormous because they all give three each so it goes super fast because with this i'm just going to be able to make six more eight and eight is not a lot because eight what i'm after right now are iridium plates these that's two and what i've been doing now that i've shown you the proper way of making them i'm using this i like I said, I know it's cheaty. I wanted to make the first batch the proper way. I showed you how to make the first batch the proper way. But that's what I'm going to strive for. I'm going to stop complicating, 
things for myself too much. And I'm just going the first batch, make it that way. And then the second batch, make it uh, in the easy way, whatever I can. So tungsten, but that's something do I have here? I have steel here. I have invar. So I'm still, when I went in the chicken place, it's tungsten that I forgot to grab. Wow, that loaded quick. So tungsten are these weird, crazy chicken. So is it this one? No, this is chrome. So no, maybe this one, t steel and tungsten. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to max out all of those drawers and I'm even going to put void upgrade to make sure that they can throw things out. But uh, again, something only in the time lapse. I'm not going to be doing that during an episode. Okay, so now that we're back, we can throw all of, no, not you. We can show all of this in here and let's see how many fusion. I think we're going to be able to make two of seven craft only. There's going to be four, eight. We need a couple more. We're getting there slowly but surely. And this is, I feel like these chickens are just like trying to annoy me on purpose. It's just so slow. It feels that when I don't really concentrate on them, they go really fast, and when I try to really concentrate on them because I feel that I need them, then they just start going slowly. That being said, Iridium is so complicated to make that it's going to be a crazy improvement. And now I'm just waiting on this because the moment it breeds the next one, that's what I mean. Next, The moment it breeds the next one, I can fill these two. And now we have 7, 10, 8, and 6, 10, 7. Like, this is looking good. And let's put that right here. Let's look at the next step. Did I go through all of the step? I believe so. So I showed you how to get these. We have them, how to get these, we have them. These were really close to having, oh, I say we're really close. We're missing 25 iridium to be able to complete these. So if I go back here, what's my cinnabar situation? Uh, cinnabar. And you know what? I could technically repulverize those but they're not going to matter all that much because I'm not quite sure I'm going to go in depth with that yeah I don't really have anything left to be able to make some more so I think that the time I'm going to spend treating this and pulver pulverizing those might take too long for no reason so see it doesn't work it really needs to be pulverized although I say that but with my super quick pulverizer set up right here, it shouldn't be that long. And whatever I can do right now to max things out and speed things up, I should be doing. I shouldn't be saying, oh, this is not going to be worth it. And I should even have started the episode with restarting that because it clearly was something that I needed to do. So that's 13 nugget. That's, yeah, that's not even worth it. Why are they not splitting? Ah, the auto sort was off. I hate when I hit a button by mistake and screw something up. So I'm going to grab all of this. I'm just going to do the back and forth. Bring this here because at least during that time things are happening. And this one, I'm oh, it's out. So it doesn't grab anything anymore at least. So push all of this in here. Which should start making us some block. Which are, they're not getting pushed there automatically. Oh well. Oi. Where are they going? This is set to... Oh yeah, they are going. Maybe that's why I had an Iridium. So grab all of this. Go back. So that's only four. But what can I do with the four? That's one plate. Oh, It's not, again, not even worth it. Because these... These, I need this, I need this. Which is going to give me one. That's really annoying. Really, really annoying that I didn't prepare that in advance. I'm sorry I know I'm repeating myself, but it's just... I was so hoping to get all of this done. And I really want to get it done, but I only have technically five minutes in the episode if I want to keep it... A 7, 10, 9. That's barely an upgrade. 2, 17, 19... That's two more ingot, which is not really worth it. What am I going to do? Okay, so let me just check the next quest and let's talk about the next episode while we're waiting.
So, next quest is power from plasma. So let's just search if we can find what plasma is. Plasma. Plasma generator. So we need this right here. The plasma generator requires one, two, three, four, five tungsten steel plate, one HV transformer, two energy flow circuit, and a generator. And I think I can easily craft all of that. So let's, even though the, we haven't unlocked the quest, we can do this. So let's just do this. So we need one battery, which is going to let us craft the generator. Perfect. And now oh, this one, we need this HV transformer, which needs a basic machine. Oh, basic machine frame was already made. Ah, that's what we're missing. So we're missing some gold cable. And we're missing some, what's the other one? We need gold cable and insulated HV, which is refined iron ingot. So let's just do these. So I'm gonna need one gold. Oh, I said one gold. I think I could have already made them. I, I think I ended up, I was okay. I didn't need to do that, but anyway. So let's go right here and say gold. Well, that's four, I don't need more than four. So I'm only gonna do that. And then this, I need those which is, again, only four. And then I can come back here and I can say, make two of those that I'm going to transform into two of those. And now I need the tungsten, tungsten steel plate. So where did I put my tungsten steel? Because I know that I made a couple last episode. It's just a question of finding them. One, two, three, four, five. These I can put right here into the compressor. These are easy to compress. And that's five. I can't believe that the next quest, which is supposed... Well, it is more complicated. I I'm going to show you why. It is really more complicated. Oh, how many do I have of these? Do I have any more? No, no. Elite control. Where? I used some. Did I only have the exact two that I needed that is really crazy if I only had the two that I needed it's kind of crazy so what are they again they're called energy flow circuit and energy flow circuit and now I can go in here I'm going to do this so none of that none of that it's unbelievable. I had exactly the only two energy flow circuit that I needed to make that, which means that this next quest is done. I ended, I finished it before, and I'm going to show you. So while we're waiting, because unfortunately we are still waiting, let me check on the chicken, but I'm pretty sure they haven't gotten much better. 8, 10, 8, 8, nope. So let's grab these more because we can put these each in their roost. And let's just do the round of these and we're going to fly back to the other position and see whatever we got here anything i can get is going to bring me closer to the end so this is all ugh. it takes so much pulverized to make these it is actually crazy how much it takes so if i come back here i'm even going to make some from the nuggets four that's seven so that's not even worth spending time on that okay so the plasma let's put it down right here for now so the plasma generator produces power from what are the recipes oh not here jei so it produced 1.8.192 uh, million eu using helium plasma helium plasma is made you need to look at the cell because it's made with salt so that fusion control computer that we're making, that's why we're making it. Because if you put a deuterium cell with an helium-3 cell, you get helium plasma cell. But that's one operation. And look, I think it costs 40 million to start this. So it better produce more than 4 million EU or else this would be completely useless. And we need helium-3 cells. Helium-3 cells are kind of easy. You make them from 16, like you can do them from endstone dust, but endstone is still a problem for us. We make it from helium cell and helium cell is the recipe we've already shown you so i'd like to second industrial centrifuge if we would ever set that up if i come back here the deuterium is 
hydrogen cell in a centrifuge. So that's a third centrifuge. And the hydrogen cell is basically, I think you get them from water. Box it. Electrolyzed. Okay, so from electrolyzed water cell, you get four. And the electrolyzed water cell you get from water cell. So you need two industrial electrolyzer. So it's a big, big setup. It's a big, big setup. And I'm not sure that I understand because if this produce only 8.192 million EU, and I come back here and this needs 40 million, well, 40 divided by eight is five. So eh, unless, unless, and I come back to this, Unless this is basically 8.192 million EU per tick and it uses only like a tenth of the helium plasma, it might be worth it, but I'm not sure. I might try it because it's it, honestly, it's one of those things that I've never used it as a power source in any playthrough of anything I've ever done. So it sounds kind of cool, but every time I think of those things and I think of doing something like that, the first thing that comes to mind is... Am I wasting your time doing something like that? Oh, it would be nice if when you killed it, it gave you a whole, uh, a whole, uh, what's it called? A whole ingot. I know it's not going to happen, but that would be the dream. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? So if I come back here, these are, oh, come on. I'm missing just two. Not that I really need that, but that's what I'm missing. So I'm just going to wait one and two. Come on. Okay, perfect. So 16, 16. I'm going to put those back in here. And I'm going to show that right. Oh, not right here. I'm going to show those in the back right here. And I'm kind of at a loss of for what to do because I really wanted to complete this in this episode. I don't I don't want to go to an extra episode. The last thing I'm going to do is explain to you, uh, talk about the next episode. And if it's not ready, if there's nothing I can do, what I might end up doing is just go into a time lapse and come back to finish the fusion episode. I know that usually when I get into a time lapse, I don't continue the episode afterwards so that you guys can decide to leave and not watch the rest of the episode, but this time, I'm really in a bad Oh, 10, 10, 10. This is getting promising. So, let's look at the next episode, because we already even have the next quest completed. So, next episode. Well, I want to go back in time, because in the last upgrade, I forgot to go through all of these quests. And if you come back to... Uh, where was it? I saw it in my other playthrough. So, here, the Master Chef, there's the upgrading the kitchen that's not done. So I want to clean up that quest, some true magic. I'm not going to do that right now, unfortunately. Still too stuck. And then a true blacksmith. So this here, if you remember, we needed to make us Meridium and us Glow Glass. But we didn't have the resource for that. Now we do, so we should be able to finish that. For the power of this... Oh, I forgot to collect this? Really? Does that mean I get a new trophy? Or, okay, maybe it's something that added itself afterward. I don't know. Or the quest is broken and sometime it reopens. So I want to finish a true blacksmith. And I also want to finish, you know what? What I could do, though, is finish the chickens. So in the last big episode, we did tier 4 chicken, which was sapphire, ruby, zinc, void, tin, diamond, obsidian, saltpeter, rich slag, amber, blaze, platinum, salt, slime, signalum, electrum, Prismarine, Silicon, Yellow Garnet, Titanium, Solarium, Energetic Alloy. Then Tier 5, Lumium, Garnet, Bazals, Gast, Inori, Blood, Magma, Peridot, Cinnabar, Bronze, Brass, Emerald, Ender Pearl, Chicken, Blue Slime, Chrome, Electrical Steel, Redstone Alloy, and Dark Steel. So let's claim uh, the last one, that one. Then we did the Tier 6, Pig Iron, Yellow Orium, Ardite, Blizz, Terra Steel, Cobalt, Redstone Crystal, XP Chicken, Amethyst, Prismarine, Purple Slime, Magnus Slime, Enderium, Uranium, Emeratic Crystal, Tungsten, Dark Gem, Pulsating, Iron Vibrant Alloy. Let's grab that. And Tier 7, Elementium, Blitz, Blizz Rod, Cyanite Chicken, Lunar Reactive Dust, Magical Wood, Diamantine, Menulin, Stoneburn, Tungsten Steel. Let's grab that. And Tier 8, 
Iridium, which are the one that we are at on now, Draconium, which is going to be useful later on, Moonstone and Night Slime. So let's grab that also. And now the only last two chicken, last chicken. With tier eight chickens, you can make tier nine chicken. So we need Demon Metal Chicken and Mana Infused Chicken. So let's just, let's clear all of that. Mana Infused Chicken and Demon Metal, oh, Metal Chicken. So the Mana Infused Chicken is made from gold and iridium. Oh, come on. And the demon needs Moonstone and Magical. So Moonstone, Magical, Moonstone, Magical, and Gold. Let's just go in the chicken room. Moonstone. I think it's these weird one. No, that's Sapphire. Yeah, it's these ones. So Moonstone, perfect. Magical Wood. I think it's these one. Okay, perfect. So I have Moonstone and Magical Wood for that one. I need gold. Gold is very easy to find. And as I said, gold is the stupid nugget one. A like gold and iridium are two annoying chicken that are not really worth... Well, no, iridium is totally worth it. I'm taking that back. I should not have said iridium was not worth it. Iridium chicken, totally 100% worth it. The gold chicken, not really. Although, probably why I'm going to keep the gold being done there. That's probably going to be worth it. So let's go back here and we're going to get those to start breeding. And I'm going to put that one here to start breeding when it's ready. And now we have, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want any 9, 10, 10, 9, 10, 9. And so let's take this one out and let's put the 9, 10, 9. Let's take, oh, that's a good one. That's 2. That's 16. So that's 2. 7, 10, 8. 8 to 9. This is really min-maxing, but uh, at this point, like I said, I just want to get this done ASAP. So let's grab all of this, and this 16 one, 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 you oh, no. So this 16 one, 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 they don't produce all that much. So these are already multiplying, but not a single one of the new one. And I'm just waiting to max those out. So let's just get rid of this. Do I have any other reward... That I didn't open. No. Okay. So let's continue looking at the quest. So we're going to finish the chicken today. Advanced mechanism, industrial. Okay. So we're going to get into thermal machinery. I'm kind of confident that thermal machinery is something I'm going to be able to do in one episode. <coughs> all of this is so simple. If I remember, and all use basic material. Like if you think about this one, spreading potion. Like there's nothing in here that I can't really get any easily. I think the refined oil might be. The most complicated but everything else these lumium so that's the only thing i have a lumium chicken i have an indirium chicken i have all those chicken but i will not be using the chicken for the first set a hey, demon metal chicken so let's just grab two so that they get recognized hello so that they get recognized yeah okay and uh, the problem okay phew i was going to say the problem of doing that is that i might waste uh I might get a magical wood or a moonstone in here. Okay, sorry. So what I was saying is uh, we're going to make the first Indirium the right way. So if I come here and I say Indirium ingot, I look at this. The Indirium ingot is something. So I think the chicken also makes just nugget, which is really annoying still. But what can I do? The Indirium ingot is something that needs to be made from... Uh, no, not arc furnace. In the induction smelter using Enderium blend, if I remember. I'm just want to check if there's anything else. But I think it's really the Enderium. Oh, no, sorry. In the alloy smelter with Iridium base. Enderium base, okay? So the Enderium base you get from three lead, one platinum, and four ender pearl. So the first batch I'm going to make the proper way. Because everything I want to show you how you would usually get it. So how's this doing? This is just getting to the point now where it's going to run. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be able to complete all of that. Signalum, Lumium, same kind of deal. They need transposer and stuff like that. We're going to have a small setup where we're going to be able to melt. See, we already did the induction smelter in, in another episode. to be. It's back there to be able to uh, craft the um, 
the iridium but this is going to give us machine that are going to let us melt stuff and then transpose it over other metal and we're just going to be able to get all of this done let me look at this three three and that's just two and let's do one more pass see how much we can craft with this and do a little bit of crafting i'm really really i know i'm dragging this along but i am finishing fusion in this episode there is no way around this it has to get done oh so let's put this in here and split it properly that's going to give me 22 ingot perfect so now i can make more iridium alloy that's five six perfect i'm gonna go throw this back here to make the plate and i think that's going to complete my superconductor. Perfect. So let's grab all of this. And completing the super superconductor is really good. Because it's another full material. So we're going to have the advanced, the nichrome, the superconductor. And then we're just going to be missing one part, one material. Let me grab all of that. Perfect. And we're going oh, we're going to go back. Oh, I love not dying on my on my roof anymore so now these so we said we need 25 only but we can't only make 25 see that's 24 we need to make 28 and then nope i don't want any of this so let's put all of that back in here back i'm going to keep that on me and like i said i don't want the extra i don't need the extra so i'm just going to go one two three plus 25 and i can even put this here so we have these and we have the nichrome eating coil and we have the 25 superconductor and now the last piece of the mystery oh those need not iridium plate they need full plate Derp. okay so these energy flow circuit i need the advanced control circuit which are here so let's grab these and come back right here so energy flow circuit are made I have another four right here and i forgot something i forgot to go and grab my alloy right here and now i need to put these in how do i make the next level these these are two with enrich yeah okay so let's go back here and let's do another stack of this i know that we have enough enrich alloy we made so much oh ooh we do not have all of that much so how do we make these again iron let's go grab a couple of stack of iron one two three four five we're traveling back there i really need a teleport like a better teleport system i'm gonna have to look into and invest into a better teleport system at some point because going back and forth in between the places is not ideal okay so let's go back here and now we should be able to craft this so 64 well i can't so i basically need to do this like that voila perfect and if i come back here is that no that's to make the lapatron which is not the recipe that i want right now the recipe that i want right now is this one so it's advanced lapatron and space tungst oh i'm pretty sure i'm done with the energy crystal so let's just do that in right here so this is where we need one two three four so that it will split oh boy sometimes you click the wrong buttons one here one here what else are the other things that we need we also need tungsten tungsten let's come back here i'm gonna split the tungsten in two perfect so that's how we need to do this Let's come back and check on my chicken once more. One, two, three, four, five, and four. Oh, ten. I, I need four more. Now this is going to be go way faster. By the time I come back with my enriched alloy, this should be much further along. Another 64. And I think that's going to be everything that we needed to finish this. <clears throat> so let's come right here. 64 split in two do this do this split equally perfect and now if i come back here i can do put all of this on one and then balance equally and let's check the iridium and oh, come 
on. Just go faster. See, now, it seems that it's when you reach 10. <clears throat> Before 10, 10, this was base barely moving fast enough to be able to count them. But now it's doing good. And I also need to breed the last chicken, which is kind of annoying. I'm probably going to take one stack and just let it make one so I can see that it's done. But that's really not where I want to waste any time right now. So grab all of this, grab all of this. And all of this. 12, 12. And what can I waste my time on? You know what? I'm going to get rid of... Oh, no. So that's the problem. Because I didn't install any void upgrade into these drawers, now whenever I pick too much of a resource, I'm kind of stuck with that resource. I can't put it anywhere. Uh, I can't put it back. That's why you want some void upgrade. Because with void upgrade, I'd just be able to push them right back in. So let's do this and spread across all. That's 9 iridium ingot. And if I come back here, these are the one that needs the plate. Yeah, these are the one that needs the plate. So let's craft the iridium plate. That's only going to be two though. Not really worth it. Let's wait a little bit more. Let's come back here and I should really have time lapse this. Three, four and four. So that's 16, 16. And now we're in business. Now things should be going good. Um, wow. So while we're doing this, Maybe just a little bit of cleanup. And I'm only doing this because I'm still waiting on my other chicken. Oh, wow. These are really crazy. So, no, no, no. I'm going to put this in a position that doesn't annoy me quite as much next time I do something. I'm going to put this right here and this right here. Perfect. So, now it's going to be less annoying. It's always dangerous. You always have to be careful. I've voided so many stuff in my other playthrough by mistake that I didn't want. You really have to be careful when you're playing with the trash cap. And I don't remember which playthrough it was. I think it was in in the Sheridan one. I think that I had made some... Oh, 10, 10, 10. Take this and put the other 10, 10, 10. Where is it? I had made like a, a buffer in between the garbage where I put would put things in a chest. And then once I stepped off, that's when I would just let it now create the next batch that's 14 i'm waiting for two more come on 16 perfect so grab that put it in here just because i want to get one chicken the moment i get one chicken i'm going to remove the 16 16 16 so stone burn remove all of that remove all of that did Did I just void my 16 chicken? Oh no, I just put the wrong one. <sighs> wow, talk about stress. So, stone burnt. You know what? Let's just go put them in here. Oh, that, that would have been a really big... Well, not that big of a derp, just an annoying derp. So, these are doing good. These are, just come on, give me my new chicken just so I can say it's finished. So these are done. Don't need to do any more with the demon metal one. And let's put the demon metal in here. Let's get rid of those. Perfect. And did you make my new one? Man infused chicken, perfect. So grab the iridium chicken. And that was the last chicken. So I can put these here. And this is a 10, 10, 10. So I'm going to put a 10, 10, 10 right here. This is really good. I'm really happy that I'm done with the chicken now. This was the last chicken. And you will never need to see me breed new chicken again. So 10, 10, 10. And this is just going. Let's get rid of those. So boom, 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 boom. Keep this one. Let's grab the quest. And we're pretty good for the iridium now. So chicken, chicken, chicken. Right here. That was the last chicken. That was the loot, last loot. And now look at this. 24, 15, 6. Like this is really starting to produce. And that's only one 10, 10, 10 chicken. So let's grab this one. Let's grab the 16. I just don't want to waste time with the cheap one anymore. There's really no point. Come here and go. Nope. 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 
And nope, I'm going to keep the normal 1111. Take this, put it in here. 24, 18, oh, another three. I'm making way too many, but right now, anything that gets the episode completed faster is good and is what I want. So let's just see how many ingot that is. So like this, like this, like this. Sp spread. Perfect. Clear all of that. And I need some plate. So let's do iridium plate. So these, really? What am I missing? Diamond, di oh, I'm missing advanced alloy. So that's an easy solution because I had made a lot. See, I, I got another 64 here. Whew. Oh man, if that was something long and complicated to create, I would have been really sad because I, it would have been like a total failure where I have to wait way too long for something else. Let's come back here. 11. I'm gonna wait for the 12 just because it's an even number. And I'm gonna put that in here. Whoa, how do I still have, oh, that's the man infused. Okay, so let's grab this, this. I feel like now it's a question of two or three minutes, not even. Right here, let's come back here. Let's grab a stack of that. Throw this in here. Balance everything. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I need this much. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think that I'm wasting any material right now. Wasting material at this point would just be wasting your, your time. So I'm trying not to do it. So, oh man, this is an hour long episode. An hour and even more. I just want to finish the fusion. This is crazy, but I need to complete the fusion. I just wish my chicken had been further along. I thought that when I had finished the uh, time lapse, that I had been just like close enough that I was at that step. So let's take all of this out. And now we're done with the superconductor. So we need the plate right here, like so. So that's one, boom, boom. Another four, one, one, another four, one, one, another four, one, one. I love this setup, it's working really well. Okay, so we said we needed 200 of these. We need, no, not 200, we need a hundred. That's twenty-five and twenty-five. Oh, you know what? I should put them right here. This is the smartest move. One, two. So like this. Twenty-five, twenty-five, twenty-five. And another twenty-five. So now I'm missing twenty-one of those, and I'm missing the neutron something something, and that's basically just the nuggets. So let's just do that. And so we need 21 more of those. So that's 21, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. No choice. So I need six more plate. And yeah, no, that doesn't work. That's not six plate. That's four. And I basically, oh, two. I had exactly the right number of diamonds. And that's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I'm basically just waiting <coughs> on eight more iridium ingot. Let's come back here. Boom and boom. Just put that in here. Oh, look at that. I think that's a I think that's the finish. That's the finish line. Grabbing all of this is the finish line. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the finish line. Because that's potentially 64 ingot. Oh, I don't have a single crafting table available that's really sad let's put that and that's close to 64 see 48 this is the like i said this is the finish line we're done one two i'm gonna go craft these into plate and i'm so happy this is really honestly if it's not the finish line the next grab that i do will be the finish line but can you imagine, like, did you see how much crafting that was? And that's with things pre-crafted. So if I was going to do this again, I would make sure that I had the Iridium Chicken before I started this. 
and I feel that if I wanted to make more regular timed episode, it would be the equivalent of two episodes just for that one machine. Like that thing is a nightmare to, to craft. Let's come back here, six plate in the middle. I'm gonna have too many Lapatron crystal, but at this point, I don't care. I might even throw everything in the garbage. Once I'm done with this mod, I don't think I'm coming back to it anytime soon, other than to set up the plasma. And if I do set up the plasma, yeah, it might take long, but this is it. So 25, one, two, three. We have 25 right here. I'm gonna throw all of this in here. Oh, this too. And now, can we make all of these tick neutron? 25, yes. We're done. Guys, look at this. 25. Boom. 25 fusion coil. No, we're not done. Three. I need one more. Play oh. I'm a failure. I'm a total failure. I need one more plate. So this, I need one more iridium plate and I need one more crushed diamond. So I thought I had 100% of it. I thought it was all done, but I'm, oh, it was the extra two. So the extra two that I use for the next machine, that's the one that I was think, uh, thinking of. That's, that's where I made my mistake. So, nope. How do I find this again? This, 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 give me this. That's the last piece of the puzzle. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give this is the controller. We're gonna go set up the machine quickly and we're going to end the episode on the view of the machine. So let's come back here, put this right here and then boom and boom, do this. And now the last thing that I need I don't have on me. Really? The last thing that I need, I don't have what I need on me. So like just one and nope, not 64. One, two. That's three. I don't care. I need two energy crystal. So this and this around is going to give me one and two. And I need two more of these. One, two. Oh, no. Get away around. Six. Perfect. So, the last thing we needed to craft, three and three, and one fusion coil, and two energy crystal gives us the fusion control computer. Oh, so that one's finished. And now if I go to reborn technology, voila, nuclear fusion done, back, and voila, power from plasma claim. And if I go back here, I'm going to show you the machine quickly. Uh, this is going to be the center. And if you click on it, we could have made a 16 multi-block, but it's not the 16 that it wants us to make. It wants us to make the eight, the 24 one. So like this, you just go one, two, three. It's not gonna stay there permanent. I'm gonna have to move this somewhere else if I decide to test it but I want to place it down because I want to show you the thing set up and place down and 24 and show you that the machine is now valid and ready to work, which means I can go back here, back to the trophy room and grab the chicken trophy back and grab the reborn technology trophy, which I'm going to put on top right here. <sighs> reborn technology. Not the easiest mod, not the quickest mod, not the funnest mod. And the chicken, I'm gonna put right there. And I'm just, before we before we finish and I forget, I just wanna put this right here so that it produces the next brand of chicken that I want. I still want to have 16 of them. That is still always my goal with things. So I'm gonna have to that, get that done in time-lapse. Last thing we're going to do is open or present. And by present, I mean loot. Nope, nope and nope, nope, oh. so annoying, like the fact that these things are not worth anything, so let's grab next step, magic bean, oh, these stupid magenta balloon, and some more uniforms, oh, not you, and one last two, last reward, another uniform, and another epic mega loot crate, 
which now gives us a weapon. I'm gonna show all of that in here. I don't even know if I have space anymore for all of that. So, you know what? The uniforms I'm not gonna show in here because I really do not care about the uniforms and oh, really do not care about the uniforms anymore. I'm gonna show this in the garbage. This, all of this, these two. And I'm going to go back there and finish like I promised on my new machine. Voila. Oh, so that is the end of Reborn Technology. Guys, that was a very long episode, but we got what we wanted done done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.